Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I know a lot of you guys pulled Hu Tao on the recent rerun banner, but do you think you know the true potential of your Hu Tao? Don't worry, in this video, I'll show you how to achieve maximum nuke damage in the open world step by step. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to leave a comment below. First, let's build our nuke team. You will need Hu Tao, Kazuha, Bennett, and Mona. For Hu Tao, her best weapon is the Staff of Homa. If you don't have it, it's totally fine. You can use whatever you have because this is about unlocking your Hu Tao's maximum potential. For artifacts, you want to use 4-piece Crimson Witch of Flame set with Elemental Mastery or HP Sand, Pyro Goblet, and Critical Damage or Critical Rate Circlet. For Kazuha, the best weapon is the Freedom Swarm. As for his artifacts, use a 4-piece Veridus and Venerer set. You want to stack as much Elemental Mastery as possible, so use Elemental Mastery Sand, Goblet, and Circlet. Ideally, you want to have a C2 Kazuha because his Elemental Burst gives a team member 200 Elemental Mastery boost while standing inside. Next is Bennett. His best weapon is the Aquila Favonia or Miss Splitter Reforged. For his artifacts, use any four piece of the Archaic Petra set. You will see why later. You don't need a good Archaic Petra set. In fact, it is much easier to work with a plus zero set because you don't want Bennett to heal Hu Tao too fast. For the best result, you want to have a C6 Bennett because his C6 Elemental Burst boosts 15% Pyro damage. The final member will be Mona with Thrilling Tales of Dragon Slayer. For her artifacts, use any 4 piece of the Instructor set. This will provide Hu Tao with a nice 120 Elemental Mastery. For the best result, you want to have a C1 Mona with level 10 Elemental Burst if possible. Now let's talk about food buffs because you simply can't achieve maximum potential without food buffs. For the attack food buffs, it is best to choose one of the following. The Adeptus Temptation, which will increase all party members' attack by 372 and the critical rate by 12%. Once Upon a Time and Monstat and No Tomorrow have the same effect, which will increase all party members' critical rate and critical damage by 20%. A new defense food came out in version 2.3, which is perfect for Hu Tao, and that is the Sakura Shrimp Crackers. It increases all party members' maximum HP by 25%, and as you already know, more HP equals more attack for Hu Tao. And finally, pop a flaming essence oil to boost that pyro damage. Next, let's watch a clip of my Hu Tao doing 1.97 million damage to the Geo Bishop with her burst. Then I'll explain each step. Let's go over what we just saw. There are many details in this clip, but before we start, make sure your Hu Tao's HP is below 25%. The lower, the better. Step 1. Find a Cryo Geo Bishop, so keep killing him until a Cryo one spawns. Step 2. Switch to Bennett. Engage the Geo Bishop and run to the grass in the corner. Cast Bennett's elemental skill. This will light the grass on fire. Stand in the fire until Bennett is inflicted with Pyro. Step 3. Run back to face the Geo Bishop and pray that he uses the triple slash combo, which looks something like this. If he didn't use the triple slash combo, teleport away and come back, then repeat step 2. Step 4. Dodge the first two slashes and let the last one hit you. This will generate a Pyro Crystal. Some of you may ask why. If you know the answer, please write it in the comment section below. Do not pick up the crystal at this time. Step 5. 
Now switch to Kazuha and hope for the best that the Geo Bishop uses his elemental breath, which looks like this. If he didn't use it, go back to step 2. Let the breath hit Kazuha, then use his burst. This will change Kazuha's burst to cryo. Step 6. Switch back to Bennett. Pick up the crystal and use your elemental burst. This will trigger the 4-piece Archaic Petrasid bonus, which gives party members 35% pyro damage bonus. In the meantime, the Geo Bishop should be charging up his ult. When his ult hits your crystallized shield, he will take damage and all of his resistances will be massively reduced. Step 7. Switch to Kazuha and long press his elemental skill to swirl pyro. This will shred enemies' pyro resistance, complements of the very distant set. Step 8. Now switch to Mona to cast her elemental burst. This will trigger the instructor set bonus, which gives your team 120 elemental mastery. Step 9. Lastly, switch to Hu Tao, cast her elemental skill, and then her burst. Bam! And now you have it. Please try it yourself and let me know how it goes in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, bye bye!